Hey there, so it is later in the night and I've decided to do a bigger look at the movie room. I've expanded the movie room, I'm going to go over things in more detail than I did. Now I do have a like uh, a portion, like I go over the movie room a bit in my, uh, in my podcast. So if you don't want to be, you want to see both of them, you don't have to. But this is a more extensive one that I'm going to do right now to, uh, to show you guys. You can see stuff in the background, so I'm going to talk about certain things that I'm... Uh, so like you'll actually see a little bit more of myself. You might see one of my cats or something come in here as well. And I apologize for certain areas where it's going to be where it's later than that. It's going to be dark, and areas where it's going to be kind of lit up like it is right now. But you're, this is the last time you see my face in this video until probably the end. So let's do it. All right. So we're starting here in the anime sec animation section. Uh, now these right here, the uh, the steelbook things that you see, the, the kind of look steelbookish. Uh, those are uh, the Disney treasures that I got. So I just show you a few of those there. So we got. Of course, the Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Uh, uh, you can see that one there. Silly Symphonies. More Silly Symphonies. Disney Rarities. Won't go through them all, but there's Mickey Mouse in black and white. There's like two of those. There's Mickey Mouse in color. More Mickey Mouse in color. It's goofy. There's sorry, Pluto. There's actually two Plutos, so they're actually really good ones. Mickey Mouse Club. Let's see if I can actually show you guys more of these here. So, I've got Donald Duck. There was four Donald Ducks. This one here, the fourth one, was the hardest one to get. And the uh, the one that was the most expensive. Uh, there's everything here from, like, uh... Let's see. Your host, Walt Disney. The Hardy Boys. Spin and Marty. As you can see, there's a bunch of these here. Disneyland. Dr. Sin is a popular one. I remember that one. Of course, there's two black ones here, which are the uh, Zorro ones. I have the True Life Adventures as well. I have three of those. I need to get the fourth one. And uh, so here, over here, you're going to see a lot of my Disney afternoon stuff. Uh, stuff like uh, DuckTales, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, and Goof Troop. I, I really like Goof Troop a lot. Uh, I'm a dad, and it was nice to see one where it's basically kind of a father and son type of thing. So, if you look down below, you're going to see that my, there's some of my classic Hanna Barbera sets from Wacky Races, which is my better half's favorite. Uh, to the Flintstones, I need season two of the Flintstones. Top Cat, Johnny Quest, Huckleberry Hound. My cat's over there. Uh, down here, you'll see I got more of it. <clears throat> Thunder, which she loves. Uh, Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels are like that. The Halloween tree, it's a special. Uh, it's, we got a lot of Scooby Doo, by the way. Uh, Scooby Doo and Dynamite, it's the show I remember from when I was a kid. There's Gargoyles there, and of course, the uh, first five uh, volumes of Real Ghostbusters. I have to get the other five. They can some of my stuff, like I like the Power Rangers. Now, if you look back here, you're going to see like a bunch of junk where I was actually doing some work on some uh, shelving the other day. Uh, Robotech, Gem, G.I. Joe. Uh, Transformers and Transformers Beast Wars, of course, Parpuff. As you can see, my Dragon Ball Z collection, I'm missing Season 6, and Dragon Ball GT, and yes, my better half likes Dragon Ball GT. Uh, Tintin, She-Ra, there's Conan, The Adventure, Season 1. There's all my Looney Tunes, uh, the Golden Collection. The first three seasons of uh, Rocky and Bullwinkle, some Woody Woodpecker, and the only one of the Peanut sets, so i got to get more of those. Uh, down there, one of my favorites there is Rocket Robin Hood from when I was a kid. I remember that. I found a series, a season of that, or a part of a season at least, into uh, a, a pawn shop actually in uh, in Ottawa when I was up there a few years back when I was going to the Ottawa Comic Con. Uh, the, if you look at the Messenger there, there's two unopened box sets there. Uh, that's complete the Messenger Z series. Uh, my better half grew up on the anime. And she really, really loved that one. Uh, down below there, you can see the uh, Star Blazers. You'll see some Voltron there. Alongside some Star Trek animated series. If you go on down further, you can see there are kind of our, our French uh, cartoons that my better half kind of grew up on, like Pepperis and uh, Spyro, and you know, a lot of stuff like that, the Dalton Gang. I got the first season of Hey Arnold. I missed out the uh, set that came out at a really good price for at Walmart for a bit. Uh, there's some like uh, UK releases and stuff down below there, along with some other stuff, you know, the Monster, Mad Monster Party, and a lot of my uh, Disney Blu-rays are right there. 
a couple, you know, the yellow boxes are the exclusive ones, they're not Blu-ray, they're DVD. Along here you see the Popeyes, I got the three sets that came out of that, Betty Boop, I only got one of them, I got all Invader Zim, all the Beetlejuice, uh, there's some more Looney Tunes, I'm still collecting them. I got all the Super Friends, along with the like, Spider-Man 67 series, which is the show I grew up with, uh, X-Men, uh, again the show that, uh, that came out when my, uh, when my son was born actually. And uh, X-Men, and there was like uh, Spider-Man as well, the, but I unfortunately do not have the Spider-Man series. It's not out on DVD here in North America. I got the Complete Turtles series, and I've got the, of course, the Batman 60 series, and the Scooby-Doo Where Are You, the original, like, uh, van with the series in it. Uh, the, when you look at those there, you see, like, the original Batman symbol and the Batman Beyond symbol. That's because those two sets here, see if I can actually... Kind of like take it out a bit. I don't think you're going to see it well. That's Batman the Animated Series, anyway. This one here is Batman Beyond. You can see that a little better. Apologies for the lighting here right now, but at least we're going to get a little, see a bit of this anyway. Of course, you know, stuff like Buffy, Angel, some Supernatural, Heart to Heart, Charmed, Skins. I like that show, Three Musketeers, I liked. Uh, all of Young Inn and Jones Chronicles. I really like the documentaries that come with those from the History Channel. Uh, there you see some of my classic stuff like the Complete McMillan and Wife, the Almost Complete Columbo, uh, Cannon, Jake and the Fat Man, The Rookie, SWAT, uh, Nash Bridges, which got a Dollarama. Uh, now here's some uh, stuff that's really close to my heart. Stuff that I grew up watching, the uh, Degrassi shows, Kids Degrassi, Degrassi Junior High, and uh, Degrassi High. Now it's not the same Degrassi that you see on uh, on TV now, so uh, there's one on Netflix now, and it's kind of like a newer show. And of course, there's the Electric Company there as well, which I grew up watching along with SCTV, and the show that I didn't grow up watching, but uh, it kind of I could relate to it. It was Freaks and Geeks. Now along there, you'll also see my small, modestly kind of like Scooby Doo collection. What I got there so far. Down below here, you're going to see more of like uh, the Disney stuff. There's my Disney DVDs. And you're going to see some more television stuff come up there. Stuff like uh, the series Soap, the series Ghost Stories. I'm missing the first se season of, of uh, Soap, actually. Uh, some, you know, Land of the Lost, Murder 1, Season 1 and 2. I like the first season way better than the second season. Um, a few seasons of Elementary there. Um, I only got one random season of uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, which I found. The other ones I didn't. Almost a complete... Uh, Fresh Prince, and I'm missing one disc. Uh, one of the discs was missing on one, but I took it like for a really cheap price. Uh, the Seasons of House there. Inspector Lindley Mysteries. We like a lot of the uh, the stuff there from the uh, from the UK. We watch a lot of that. So, you'll see I also got my Coronation Street Secrets. I'm just a really big fan of that. I've watched that several times. I like documentaries. I like Corey, so uh, it's kind of cool. I don't watch a lot of Corey now, but I did used to watch when I was younger. Uh, there's, you know, Starship Skin Hutch. Primetime Crime Time is actually really good. And Mill Creek put it out. And it's sort of like a short-lived series is that from a Stephen J. Canal. And uh, it's actually really cool. So let me just take that out for a second. I'll show you that one. So there it is there. Primetime Crime Time. And it's, it's complete shows with some extra, like, bonus episodes on there as well. So we got, like, let's see here. doot doot. doot. We got the uh, Missing Persons, all it? 18 episodes, I think. We got Broken Badges, Palace Guard, and Unsub, and then just like random episodes of like other shows like Wise Guy, The Commish, uh, Hunter, Cobra, Great American Hero, Ten Speed, and Brown Shoe, Silk Stockings, Two and Jump Street, and, uh, and of course Booker. Uh, so Booker was a spinoff of a. Uh, of the series Two and Jump Street. They're actually remaking, I think, uh, the series uh, Great American Hero, but using like a female in the lead, uh, rather than like kind of guess a guy like, for the William Cat thing, which really shouldn't be much of a big deal since the series Great American Hero actually spun off like a, a pilot that was going to be a series called Greatest American Heroine, uh, but it never actually uh, it never actually got like finished. It just got the pilot was done, and they planned to do more of it, but I, don't, I think they may have done some web stuff but uh, like some online stuff but it never got any farther than that so there are some like uh people that were that said they're upset about it that probably never watched Great American Hero or knew any of that stuff in the first place so let's go back here uh and 
you can see. Okay, I'm gonna go way, way back. See a lot of there's a lot of complete shows and like box sets in that here. So we'll go in close to get a good look at them so you guys can see exactly what they are. So you remember Taki Tina there, that's my uh, my Twilight Zone series that is the the original show and the 80s show as well. Farscape is my Better Has favorite sci-fi show. My favorite sci-fi show is right next to it, which is which is Space 1999. Uh, Lost in Space, of course. Red Dwarf we both love and Bellstar Galactica. If you look down here, you're going to see some of my Walking Dead sets that I got. Along with my Twin Peaks and my... Uh, and that is my Breaking Bad, like a barrel right there. Uh, along... I found Tour of Duty. I was really excited when I found that one. Because it was a hard find around here. The Wire, Complete Series, MASH, of course, Mission Impossible, Wild Wild West, uh, Six Million Dollar Man, the Time Life Edition, and uh, Man from Uncle, that's the, uh, the gray set you see there. Down there's a complete red green. We really <laughs> we're excited to get that. We're big red green fans. Uh, get Smart is there. Uh, Glee, Stargate Atlantis, The X Files. And you're probably wondering what that one is in the middle there. And that is. Which show is that again? Let's find out. Oh, it's my Game of Thrones season one with the dragon egg. Uh, you know, along this, we got like uh, Doc True, the first seven series, plus the specials, like the early specials on uh, on Blu ray. Uh, it's Dexter, the complete series, along with Willy Wonka, the original series of uh, of uh, Futurama and the Bender Head, and Lost, the Blacklight Edition. Now, this here is my Dark Shadows. That one actually turned out to be uh, what, not the original, like uh, like I thought it was when, it, when we got it. But uh, I did actually go through, uh, well, I watched a ton of it, and I never had any problems with it at all. So I guess I lucked out on that one. Uh, the Saint, the Monochrome series and the Color series. We got the Series Protectors. There's a bunch of shows here. Hotel, which I really love. Equalizer is a show that I find really, really good. Um, Kung Fu, Lone Ranger, Giannatri show. And of course, Babylon 5 and Star Trek Next Generation. Slaughters, which was a big favorite of mine. Peep Show, and then Betweeners. Hogan's Heroes was a favorite of my better halves. I got the complete Magnum and, Ma and Miami Vice, of course, and Antoine Jump Street. I grew up on those shows. Uh, not quite complete Dallas yet, and the first two seasons are not standing. Some random Merrill's Place seasons that I got because basically, uh, well, they were cheap Dollarama. It's the original Persuaders box sets. I got that along with the new one because we really like that show. I like Superman a lot, so I got different incarnations of it here. Uh, Superman, the original series, Lost and Clark, Smallville, and I got a season of uh, Superboy. Unfortunately, I don't have the archive, uh, one of one archives editions of Superboy, but I did have some money on like a uh, on an iTunes card. So until I can get the one archive ones, I bought the uh, there was a superhero sale on on Apple, so I just bought those for now, just to do until I can get the actual physical copies. Now down here, you're going to see like uh, a lot of stuff like this. I'm proud of having all the. Blake 7, that was a hard find, and the Dracula series as well, that was not the easiest find either. A lot of like uh, Canadian shows down there, like Warehouse 13, FX, Tech War, Sci Factor, which actually is underrated. Sinbad, Mysterious Island, Lost Girls, of course, Due South, which if you haven't seen it, it's actually pretty cool. A lot of stuff down there. The Complete Series on New York, Cobra, the Complete Series, because I you know I like Michael Dudikoff. Uh, Roswell's Complete, and uh, Carnival. I only have a couple of Mystery Science Theater down there. Three of them, and I'm, that kind of saddens me, so let's just see what I got. So by the way, here's where I usually got the stands at, that I do my videos with. Whether it's upstairs or downstairs, that stand usually comes, and it's a lot less shaken than it's right now. So as you can see, I got the show Swingers down there as well, that unfortunately lasted one season. I like that. Uh, Swingers of Scott, right? Swingtown, yeah. But it was about kind of like the swinging lifestyle of the 70s. Bionic Woman, of course. Rebus, I really like Rebus. I like the John Hanna Rebus, that's what, the one I got there. Now, Ken Stout was good too. We're moving around. Now, here is my Doctor Who collection. And if you're asked, want to ask me, yes, I 
am a fan of Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor. Uh, she looks like she can bring a lot to it. Basically, to play the Doctor, be a good actor. Uh, that's, that's, that's what you need. Be a good actor, have good stories. <laughs> now we're getting to the... Uh, this is my Mill Creek down there. This is my chair. But you're going to see some more of my... Uh, kind of like this here. Like some of this here. Like the Revelation... If you were just starting collecting Doctor Who, for instance, those Revelation sets, if you can get your hands on one, two, and three of those, it's a really good start for, cl for collecting Classic Who. Uh, there's some great places to start. Uh, there's the uh, the beginning set, uh, which is the original Dr. William Hartnell. There's the new beginning set, which is uh, from Tom Baker to Peter, Pe Peter Davison. Uh, there's some great like uh, theme sets, like uh, Bread for War was a Santaran set. That was the first set I ever bought. Um, and things like Unit Files uh, is a really fun one. The Dalek War is a cool one. Pelden, uh, the Paladin Tales. Which is, you know, Doctor Who has always been kind of like a, a political uh, show, a really political show, and kind of like liberal based with uh, with a lot of its politics. It's never made no bones about saying that, but uh, that's uh, just the way the show is. But I find that's pretty fair and even minded when it comes to uh, a lot of issues. Now, there's my, of course, my Blade Runner one there as well. I got like the complete Double Seven series, the. Uh, Oh, this was a really good one. I didn't know, didn't know I was going to get this one. It's kind of limited edition. The uh, Masterpiece Collection. Alfred Hitchcock, Casablanca. My big hammer set. I love that set. Uh, my Universal Monster set. I got the one from England. I had the coffin. So I actually had pictures on the discs rather than just being kind of uniformly boring discs. Um, the Blind Dead Collection. That's my Val Luton collection right there. Right next to Bava set number two. That came up at Anchor Bay a long time ago. Um, there's my Warner... And my Warner Herzog and Kinski set. There's my original like uh, sets that I had, the legacy sets. I'm missing the which ones? Oh, I'm missing the doo -doo 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 -doo, creature from Black Lagoon set. So there's my gangster sets and my film noirs. I'm lying next to the Charlie Chan. I right snuck in the middle of it because I had extra space as the Chanthology. Now the Chanthology is uh, one set were done after the the Fox ones that uh, after when a uh, Sidney Toyer bought the uh, series himself and then did a bunch of more films. There's my Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. Uh, there's a, my, I got a few of the for, uh, what's it called, Forbidden Hollywood ones. They're really good. And uh, of course, the pre code set that came up at Universal as well that actually has a copy of the Hayes Code inside of it. I got two of the uh, Ford at Fox sets there. Uh, you know, there's a World War II set, and there's my Mr. Moto right there. Uh, John Wayne set. I got a couple of John Wayne sets. You'll see them in my Tyrone Powers there. And uh, this one right here, this is my Earl Flynn. I'm a huge Earl Flynn fan. And Captain Blood was one of my favorite movies growing up. I used to play Pirates a lot as a kid. Uh, there's Louis de, Louis de Finesse. If you're uh, familiar with like uh, uh, French uh, humor, he's like a very popular French comedian back from back in the day. Uh, there's my uh, Bruce Lee set. Oh, just a bunch of other Samuel Fuller. I'm a big Samuel Fuller fan. Uh, this one here, where he is uh, Fairweather, I think that's, that's my musical set. I got a few of these here. I got to get more of those, like uh, TCM's ones, Grace Classic. Those are kind of cool. I really like this uh, W.C. Fields one, too, by the way. I think it's a volume two, but I'm a big fan of Wayne and Schuster, which is a Canadian comedy uh, duo, and they, uh, they had a, put out a lot of specials when I was a kid, and I used to watch them all. They actually do a uh, kind of a tribute to W.C. Fields. Uh, Wayne and Schuster were favorite comedians of... Uh, of a guy by the name of Ed Sullivan who kept trying to get them to come over to the United States, but he, but yet Wayne Schuster really loved Canada and they stayed here. Uh, so we got some down along here. There's my Charlie Chaplin ones that I got from the, uh, oh, what's the, what are they called again? MK2, yeah. My Oliver Stone set. Of course, I'm really a big fan of this here. Uh, not my Elm Street set. This was the OG set, basically, the one that, uh, you had to have as a as a horror fan. This was one that everybody lusted after and wanted to get. Now you can nowadays you can find it for like fairly cheap. You really can. That's like I guess uh, the Dawn of the Dead Ultimate Edition set. I, this was a well a huge like one at the time that I was so in love with it. I had all these like different editions of Dawn of the Dead on there, comic books and lots of documentaries, lots of commentaries. Uh, I got, of course, I had the Boris Karloff and Bela Lugosi ones. I got the Inner Sanctum ones, the uh, 
Those are all cool. Universal Horror. I got the Prom Night set, the one that came out in Canada. There were two editions. There was this one here that has just the four Prom Night original films, and there was the fifth one that I got from with the uh, remake on it. I got that one from my cousin Ed. So he's got all the original. He collects uh, like uh, 80s movies and Canadian and stuff like that as well. This is one of the uh, the big sets for the eight films to die for. Uh, my favorite one on this one here, they, they had a few good ones on here, but uh, for me, uh, hands down, uh, Nightmare Man, Tiffany Shepis, gorgeous in that. Now, here's some stuff here. Not too well, but shag it. We're going to end there anyway. The Lord of the Rings hats, my better half has those. She has like Blu rays of them too, by the way. So, what a lot of people are going to be more interested in seeing is stuff like my Arrow stuff. So, I got a lot of the limited edition stuff there. I got Thief, which is uh, out of print one now. I really like that. That has two copies of the film on it. Uh, definitely one of the ones where it beat out Criterion for the, for the way that it was done. Uh, Blood Rage is a great one. It's uh, one of the f a few really cool Thanksgiving horror ones that doesn't have a killer turkey in it. So, <laughs> it's definitely worth getting. The Mutilator, I really like. Brain Damage is a headliner classic. I really recommend it. If you like cheesy, like uh, Italian sci-fi, you really should get the Contamination. There was a great, great interview with the director. Um, he knew nothing about Contamination when we got it, but she fell in love with the director. He was such a nice guy. She, uh, you know, fell in love with the way that he acted and stuff like that. She said, "I want to see more of his stuff." He just had such a passion, and his, and the story that he told about his life was just really, really fascinating. Of course, that's the Fantastic Kills of Ice. That was the first. And only Arrow that I bought on the uh, basically on the day that it came out into into shops because at the time that the Hills of Eyes came out in shops at H and V, I was actually in London at the time. I miss London. I really liked it a lot. And honestly, if, if there's any place that I could live right now, uh, if I had the money to just do it, it would be London. Necromantic Two, Doctor Fibes complete one. Uh, Videodrome, I uh, could not pass up that one. The Decalogue, I'm really excited about that one. And again, I will go on record and say, yes, that's better than the uh, than the Criterion edition of the Decalogue. Uh, Bloodbath is really, really good. Society, uh, they, they do great jobs on all these. Deep Red, Stray Cat Rock was a really fun one. Uh, Outlaw Gangster VAP, I'm waiting to watch later on, actually. Uh, Death Walks on High Heels, Killer Babes, and the Black Cat sets, I, I recommend them highly to anybody. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 sets are really cool. It's one of the earlier ones. Broader reanimator is really good. And you can see there's a lot. You can see my taste by some of the stuff that I got. There. I got a few Bavas like Black Sunday Blood and Black Lace, Bay, Bay of Blood, Black Sabbath, of course. The Burbs is there. Uh, none of these are in particular order right now because <laughs> I just moved them over and stuff. So, you know, it's Tenebrae. I got a lot of like Cat Nine Tails. There's a lot of uh, Argento there. It's different ones like Sisters because I'm a huge De Palma fan. Uh, the, I like spaghetti westerns, and I like I like westerns in general. I'm just starting to 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 really collect them now. Uh, stuff like Day of Anger, Django, Paracoffin. I totally forgot the name. I had to look. <laughs> and as you look over here, you're going to see different stuff. You're going to see some more Arrow Academies. And here's the Arrow, like the original ones, like the DVDs that were the way they originally came out. Uh, I got stuff there like like Slaughter High. Uh, one I'm really, really proud of. Where's it at? It's Savage Streets of Linda Blair. I really like those revenge movies. Uh, Linda Quigley is in that one as well. That is... Damn, she looks good there. <laughs> well, I'm going to put that back after. It's a little tight. Uh, I'm very proud of the Russ Meyer collection. Uh, that was a hard find. I got it before it went out of print. Uh, well, I think it was actually going out of print at the time. I got it at Amazon UK for a good price. And there's like, I think there's like 19 movies on this one. So, yeah. And it's got a bunch of features, commentaries, uh, interviews with Russ and stuff like And other actresses like Tura Santana, I think. Some great stuff. Now, uh, Long Goodbye and Mona Lisa, I really, really like those movies. Handmade, just those amazing stuff. Uh, the American Horror Project. I don't think that sold as well as you wanted to, because that's a volume one, and there's another, neither other volume that's come out since then. But I really think I hope it does. Battle Without Honor and Humanity. There's a new one out of that, like a trilogy. The and the Sixth Gothic Tales. Uh, that's out of print, but if you had ever have a chance to get that one, that is amazing. I recommend it. Um, there's the Hellraiser set, Battle Royale. The uh, oh, there used to be like a, I don't think they do it now, but it used to be a thing called Aerodrome. And Aerodrome was like a kind of more budget titles with less features on it, but kind of way to, a cool way to get some uh, different uh, 
some horror and stuff like that. So there's a few. And one of the ones I got that is highly out of print right now is the Gates of Hell trilogy. I have many different versions of Gates of Hell, but I really want the Aerodrome one. It's got some great uh, like stuff on it. Some uh, It's got a new, uh, new booklets and that. With No Eyes, a favorite movie of mine, actually. And it's obviously a favorite movie of the guys that saw the that made the show uh, Peep Show. If you ever saw Peep Show and you're a big fan of Peep Show, watch With No Knife if you haven't, and you'll get why. Uh, and, and how you can see they're big fans. Uh, College Chabral Collection. The Extra Rental one is a really good one, too. Uh, it's got Maniac Cop, the cheerleaders on that, Revenge of the Cheerleaders, Penitentiary, Penitentiary 2, and McBain. Now there's some steel books there from, uh, from Arrow, along with some of the original... Uh, the window box ones. Originally, see Arrow used to do like these window box editions, stuff like this. And there's like you flip it over and have like four different like covers, all that kind of stuff. Great, great covers. Now over here, you can see I got my Criterion spot here. I've got a small Criterion collection, guys. As compared to a lot of guys, you see like there's not a Dean and DVD size collection. Uh, <clears throat> F's for fakes there. Just they were in numerical order, but I think my better half moved <laughs> them around. When we uh, just, and just put them in there. So, you know, Kiss Me Deadly is one of my favorites. I highly recommend that one. Uh, Black Narcissist was given to me by my friend Sammy uh, Faliar, and uh, that was a really good one. Um, Scanners, I enjoy. Seven Samurai, of course. Samurai Trilogy is there. I like Samurai films, so. As you can tell with my <laughs> Zarichi set, uh, Jacques Demi set's amazing, by the way. Uh, we want a good one for, if you want a good one for Halloween for, uh, from Criterion. I recommend Monsters of Madman set. I found that one really, really cool. Especially the one, The Haunted String. That's a really good one. Sex is a great movie for that, too. Um, you can see a bunch of them here as well. House is batshit. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Uh, Purple Noon's pretty good. My Eureka collection here. I really love Eureka. Uh, look how colorful they're, uh, the spines are with Eureka. You just really know what you're, uh, kind of what you're getting there. I uh, know my BFI is, BFI is one I'm really an indicator right there. So it's the Jock to T collection from BFI. Some great stuff there. Uh, great, great movies. The Devils is a fantastic film, and uh, I'm glad to see that it's got a good release. Now, coming along here, you're going to see my Snaps here, as long as my Grindos releasing. Uh, I Drink Your Blood uh, pieces, both those I really recommend. Uh, this great stuff. Uh, Swimmer's got a, an amazing edition. Uh, Corruption is great. Uh, the Tenebrae set from Synapse is amazing. There's a great there. And so there's, this is the uh, Ray Harryhausen set, the collection that came out from uh, in North America. It's got It, Earth vs. Flying Saucer, uh, Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, and 20 Million Miles Earth. <clears throat> now we waited, that was on, went on sale on Amazon, and uh, it, it took us about four and a half months to, uh, to get it, but it was worth the wait because it's actually a pretty cool set. Uh, this is my Olive and my Blue Underground set there. Uh, stuff like Venom's fantastic. And of course got uh, Sorceress, which is really, really cool. And I got the other Sorceress too, the one with Julie Strain. So uh, fun stuff there. Uh, Deadly Bees. I really like Deadly Bees, actually. I like the those, you know, Nature Runs Muck type films. Uh, you can see a couple like Full Moons hidden in there, along with my uh, Draft House films. I only have three of those. And both all three of those are fantastic. Uh, Miss Fit. Cheap Thrills is good. Miss 45 is amazing. And uh, Band Called Death is really great, too. Now we're going to my uh, Scream Factory. We'll start with the DVDs here. And some Shout Factory as well. You can see I got the uh, the four movie sets along with a uh, one four movie like sci-fi set. I got both the all-night horror ones with I'm saving to watch when it comes to uh, Halloween time. Uh, there's certain ones I've saved here for Halloween. Now, of course, this is the Halloween set, the big Halloween set that came out. Uh, for some reason, this one's out of print. Now, there's a 10-disc one that's showing up at Walmarts and stuff like that. And people are thinking that the 10-disc set is the same as the 15-disc set. It's not. I mean, there's stuff missing. The 10-disc set's great. There's a lot. It's got the movies, but it's missing the other cuts and it's missing some, some extra features and stuff like that. So, um, if you get the 10-disc set, it's, it, it's usually at a good price. So, it's really good to get, like, all the films. Just know that uh, you're, there's going to be some features and... And versions like TV movies and stuff from there and featurettes and like especially like the producers kind of think of uh, part six of all uh, with all those features are missing from the uh, from the tennis condition uh, just to let you know now there's some of my show select ones there as well like Minute Run and, and Nighthawks I really like Nighthawks uh, Kentucky Fried Movies are my favorites I love that movie Invasion USA I, I really enjoy 
Um, Braddock missing an action three is not the best, but I wanted to get all of them. I'm trying to stay out of the the light here, so you can see like a bunch of them there. Hell holes are a really good one. Uh, up from the depths is one that you can only get from the uh, from the Shout Factory website itself, where that's where the Scream Factory ones are sold. So there's certain Blu-rays that only comes on the uh, only come on the website. So you might want to check the site if you haven't been doing that. Daily Eyes is a favorite. I like exploitation. So uh, Daily Eyes, anything like that, like that, I I really enjoy. You can see there's a bunch more here. Anything from the cheesiness to a uh, Return of uh, Count Yorga. It's the final tear. Ghost stories are really good. And the ghost story is highly underrated. I wish more people would talk about that one actually. Nightmares is a cool anthology one. Troll and Troll 2 with the documentary. Uh, best Worst Movie. It's a lot of the, uh, the slipcover ones. There's the ones I have with the slipcovers. We'll just zoom back there and I'll just take a second so you guys can see. There we go. Now we'll go down here. And I'm going to scooch down and show you my 88 Film Slasher Classics collection along with their Slice and Dice the Slasher uh, Slasher's documentary. So that d documentary is really good for a, kind of a primer for this uh, these here films. they got a lot of really cool Slasher ones here. Graduation is good. Alice Sweet Alice, otherwise known as Communion, is a really good one. Uh, Spider University is not a good one, but it's a fun one. Uh, Don't Go in the Woods Alone, again, the same thing. It's a lot of fun. Mother's Day, I like. Uh, the Children of the Corn, i got one, two, and three, the box set of that. Um, scalps, of course, the sleepaway, uh, sleep sleepaway camp, uh, two and three, which they put out. Uh, I got the uh, Screen Factory, like the three, one, two, and three on Screen Factory, but I wanted to have like as many uh, editions, just as many features on that as I can, because I really like them. Those white ones there, that you see those. That's the Italian collection. There's also the the zombie one, which was a special slipcover one that you can only get online. You can get the movie, you just can't get slip cover in the rest by the website. Uh, now there's American Ninja, all four of those I got. Uh, there's some of my uh, Full Moon from uh, 88 Films and my Creep Show 2 from 88 Films. I'm, there's my Shameless collection. I'm really proud of my Shameless stuff. I uh, love my Bronx Warriors set. Uh, there's a bunch of things like Torso and as you can see, I've got a lot of the Shameless ones that, sp that spell out Shameless on the spine, but not all of them. Uh, I'll just oh, take this one out right here. I'll show you guys. It's really cool. Ah, there we go. Now along here, you're going to see my Vestron, my in incomplete Vestron collection. I got a Chopping Mob, Blood Donner, Waxworks 1 and 2, Return Living Dead, uh, 3, Lair of the White Worm. I love that movie. Uh, the Gates, I love that movie a lot. And of course, the Wishmaster collection. I got a, just two uh, Blu rays from On Macabre. As you can see, I got a small amount of Severin Blu rays and the DVDs from Vinegar Syndrome, along with the Blu rays, which you've already seen. So I'm not going to go into those too much right now. <sighs> you guys are kind of getting tired of me talking about Vinegar Syndrome all the time. Now, along here, you're going to see my Kinos. First, you see like, the Kino Redemption line, that's the horror line that they do. I have only one of the Jezebel line, which is Schoolgirl Hitchhikers from John Roland. I would love to have the, the John Roland vampire movies, though, from Redemption. I only have one, which is the, uh, it's on DVD, actually. This is my Kinos. I got, like, some more Kinos coming now. And I got some ordered for, uh, for Halloween, ones like Rawhead Rex. I heard Kinos having a, uh, a Halloween sale, actually, so keep an eye out for that on the website. A lot of Kino DVDs as well. And over there you can see my Twilight Time ones. Uh, I was lucky enough to have some good friends get me the Twilight Time ones because they're very expensive to buy here in Canada. As you go on in the farther, you can see a couple of raros like the Fernando de Leo and Roger Diodato's Waves of Lust, which I really like. I got a bunch of network ones from uh, from England and my better half wanted like uh, some of these kind of like classic ones. Uh, my favorite... Uh, I guess it's probably this one right here, Horror of the Black Horrors of the Black Museum. I used to have this on D, on a VHS back then. I paid like twenty five dollars for it uh, from I think it was Video Search Miami. With Hypnovision. So are there special features? Yeah, original theatrical trailer, original U.S. Hypnovision introduction, and uh, an image gallery. So there's something on. It's really thin, uh, kind of inexpensive. 
I had a few good ones there, like uh, Midnight Menace, The Tear, The Scotland Yard Mysteries, a few Edgar Wallace ones there, I think. This is my Fox uh, Film Noir collection. And along here, of course, there's a couple uh, serials at the end there, Shadows of, Ch of Chinatown and Batman and Robin serial. As we've gone down, you're going to see some more. <clears throat> this is a lot of my, uh, my documentaries. Yes, I'm a big History Channel buff there. And you can see I'm a big, big, like, a Western fan. There's the Outlaws in the West. I got the the special, like, uh, the cardboard case case one, which is really cool. But I also have the Slimline one as well. Uh, of course, Video Nasties. I only have the second one, the Draconian Days. Uh, a good friend of mine got me Rewind This, sent it to me, and I really, really was excited when I, got, when I had that coming. Uh, Easy Riders, uh, Raging Bulls is a great documentary. Uh, the Diner Parties when I got once for uh, to do for Halloween. I never actually did it. When Cowboys Were King. This one right here is about like Western movies. And if you ever get a chance to watch that one, really do watch it. It's really ama it's amazing. It's great. Uh, going to Pieces, of course. East Enders. Again, I'm an East Enders fan, the same as Corey fan. Um, there's a Gettysburg one that actually came from Gettysburg. I didn't go to Gettysburg, not yet, unfortunately. But uh, I got it from somebody that did go there. You know, different, like the ones like Nazis and Auschwitz, they came to go to the pack. And you can see some more of my classic stuff and some Western stuff down along there. As you can see, I don't have a lot of Western stuff I want to get more, and I'm hoping to be able to find some. <clears throat> now let's go back here. You'll see a few different ones here, like my Lone Wolf and Cub, my Lady Snowblood. Uh, this is, interest Leroy Green, there's a, just got a couple of rare, uh, sco rare scope ones with the Amazon versus Superman. And, of course, the uh, the cotton mill one as well. Of course, there's a shaft up feature. And if you're a fan of, like, the kind of erotica stuff, there's a Tyndall Brass collection but that came out from Cult. That's the, uh, it was a limited edition Turtles box set, a specific rim one. Uh, Downton Abbey, I got in England. Uh, there's these here, double features as well, and triple features I got. And there's a triple feature of Blazing Saddles and Caddyshack. And what's the other movie there? European, vac European Vacation, I think. Uh, there's the Argo set that I got when Target used to be here in Canada. Uh, the Alfred Hitchcock set right there to go along with my Masterpiece one. The ones that weren't on the Masterpiece collection. Uh, the Alien set is there. It's Terminator set I had to have. Uh, Leprechaun. I think I paid like two bucks for a Terminator set. <laughs> Just so that you know. Some things I got like encrypted deals on. Uh, I lucked out, basically. So there's some like double features. Some there, of course, from, uh, from Mill Creek. Uh, there's some really good ones there. I had to recommend one. Although Swipe One of Stranger Calls, Happy Birthday to Me is actually a really good one. Um, there's Legend of Billy Jean. Strongly recommend that one. Of course, Sharky's Machine, that's not Mill Creek. That's Warner Brothers just down here because I basically placed a lot of my Blu-rays that I haven't like uh, categorized yet. Stuff like here you see some stuff like Purge, Insidious, Mama, Orphan Killer. Uh, I got to meet the uh, actors and the director and writer of that film. I really did enjoy that one. Uh, Dan Foster, who plays the uh, female lead in this, um, she is extre extremely nice, extremely friendly. Uh, gave me a hug when I uh, came up to, to buy the movie and the mask and that. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie, she's she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. And she looks, uh, If you think she looks attractive in the film, she looks way more attractive in person. And uh, I think a lot of that, you know, aside from being extremely good looking, a lot of the, what comes across is that she's really, really nice. And that, that you know, you can be gorgeous and not seem, you know, beautiful but if you're not if you're an actual nice person that goes a long way so she's a sweetheart if you ever see her in a convention just you know be nice to her she's a really nice girl there's my uh, superman like tin uh there's a goonie set that's the texas chains massacre set the uh, black maria one uh there are some of my digi books there and here you're gonna see just some more random stuff more random stuff random i'm sure my uh my cord here. Uh, again, there's some, uh, you know, some of my 3D stuff that I got. There's some of my steel books. Now let's take a really quick look over at my DVDs. So, woo! This is my Midnight Movie Collection right here, along with some of the MGMs I got. I don't have them all organized now because I've gotten more MGMs since then. There's some, uh, 
the Roger Corman classic collection, you know, it's a cult, cult classics. There's the uh, film crew, I highly recommend that. The, I gotta put the Psycho Legs over my other documentaries. These are like my my Blue Underground DVDs. Uh, just some random stuff here. There's my wrestling, if you're into wrestling. There's some of the wrestling I got. What's well, all the wrestling I got right now? I got like a, another copy of the now edit, very edit print Battle Royale from uh, Arrow Video. Which I'll use sometime in like as a, maybe a trade bait thing to get something, something really good that I want need myself. Uh, hey, my uh, VHS said, because I'm getting a new shelf, it's coming up soon, so I have to put my VHS here for now. When I was like expanding the room. So there's a few of the VHS. Like I was showing there before, there's the VHS stuff. You can see some there, the Steam King Night Shift collections are actually pretty cool. Uh, How is your Bloodlines, How is your 1 and 2 from the uh, Star Maker ones. I got a couple of the Captain Power Soldiers of the Future. Uh, I got the complete series on DVD, but these are actually the the VHS. And so you could actually buy like uh, Captain Power figures, and you'd be able to shoot at the screen, like, kind of like this light laser type of thing, and it could shoot back you and knock your uh, basically score points type of thing. Over here, you're gonna see my uh, my anchor bay, and again, not, not all my anchor bays are together right now. I gotta as I get this straightened away. You see, like a lot of different stuff. Like Chud is here, the Trilogy of Terror. Uh, I'm really proud to have this one, Fade to Black. It took me forever to find this one here. It's a movie that I really, really enjoyed, and uh, it's lying out of print. The same, like I cheerleader camp. I was excited to get that one. Um, Return to Horror Highs. A lot of these are on. Some of these are on Blu-ray. Uh, Fade to Black's not. I wish it was actually. I would buy that in a second on Blu-ray. There's my Trauma ones. Uh, Got to meet Lloyd and a bunch of the trauma guys in Montreal, so that was kind of fun. Again, there's more of my uh, that's my extra universal remote, which I keep there if I ever need it. And down here, you see some of the other companies like Dark Skies, a couple of like Scorpion releasing House on Sorority Rolls, one of my favorite documentaries. Documentaries, yes, <laughs> that'd be a fantastic documentary. It's one of my favorite like slash runs all the time. Cannibal Ferox, I got a few of the Cannibal movies, Psychomania, uh, Cherry Falls, and Terror Track. I didn't upgrade those because basically Cherry Falls wasn't uncut on the Scream Factory. I will upgrade down the road though. If you're just getting to Jallos uh, and you're not ready to, like, to put down a, a, high, a big chunk of change, these here sets, the uh, Killers on the Loose, Deadly Fiends, and the Blood, Blood Red Knights collections, they have some really good Jallos on them. That's Jack Frost 2. Of course, I have the Vinegar Syndrome original of that. Uh, the Full Moon ones there, that's Trancers 1, 2, and 3. I got those from Cinema Sickness. Uh, really, really nice guy. Really, um, I bought them from them, and I, they came in no time. Uh, Cinema Sickness has a Instagram account where it has a Cinema Sickness store. Uh, so if you ever go over there uh, and buy some stuff, definitely tell him I sent you. And uh, he's really good and easy to deal with. There's some other of uh, the... Uh, Eight days, eight films to die for that I had that aren't in the sets. I got two copies of them. The uh, the real ant movie, the kind of big giant ant movie that freaked me out. Uh, I have the snap case and the plastic one. Uh, movies, I like the movies like Soul Keeper, Kidnapped Me with the President, and of course that has Death Row Game Show on it, which I really am looking forward to upgrading. Hopefully on November 24th. Down here you see the Flash Gordon set. Just some really different kind of cool stuff. Wicked City, in like in like Flint and Iron Man Flint. Uh, four of the five uh, movies. I used to have five of them, but I lost one of the uh, the Dirty Hair ones. I haven't upgraded them to Blu-ray, so I have waited just in case I can get to upgrade them down the road. So there you go. Uh, I'll just <clears throat> bring you over and show you my right here. You can see my Elmer. Brain damage one. This is Jason from Friday 13th Part 2. There's the card it came with. Uh, this is my screen mask. Some of my pins. You're gonna see, there's my uh, sonic screwdriver. This is the Richard Brooker Jason from Part 3. Uh, of course, Bub. Chap Top. The Phantasm set that. That I consider the best. <laughs> I, uh, the pipe 
the Sherlock Holmes pipe that I got there from uh, from England. Very inexpensive, actually. Uh, there's my. Uh, that's the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. This is a really great sculpt of. Uh, the Mimi. Space and out of it, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, gotta show you this. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Oh yeah, with Kool Aid man effects. Julie Adams from Creature from Black Lagoon. <sighs> this is one of the things that I got from a uh, trauma. Uh, this is the big limited edition uh, Harry Potter set that came out. I don't I don't deal in like sand tracks very much, but I do. I have j I just got a couple, and these aren't really. This one's not really sand tracks. Just uh. Very shiny, hey? Uh, Tonight Show. Just had some good music on there. You know, Nat King Cole, Chet Baker, Dean Martin, Platters. You know, some real classic old stuff. Uh, the original motion picture soundtrack for Saw 2. Some decent bands. It's got uh, Mudvayne, Marilyn Manson, Queen to the Stone Age, Papa Roach. You can see it. Well, you can read them there. There's the songs on the back. And I got this one here. See here, this is very cheap. Slither the motion from the motion. Music motion. Music from the motion picture. You're really huge fan of Slither. And as you can see, I kept these in like uh, mint condition, not even opened up. Uh, if I found different ones that are already that are closed up, I'd probably do that. I also got, I'll show you really quickly, these here uh, Hammer Horror cards. Really cool stuff. I'll show more of those in a future episode. So there you guys go. Uh, that is my collection as of right now. Oh, the one I guess I didn't show you is that one up there. That's the parts of the Caribbean uh, treasure chest set. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm probably not going to have to do the I'll probably delete the podcast one that I did now to another podcast down the road. Uh, but guys have been asking for like a uh, a new like move room tour where I updated it and I got the uh, the microphone now. It makes it a lot easier to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully now with the microphone you got to hear it a lot better. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great evening. Uh, for me right now it is time for tea. And uh, I'm the movie prof and this is my uh, uh, this is my library. This is my cave. My dojo. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good evening.